Good afternoon everyone and happy Fresh Friday. I hope you've had a wonderful week so far and you're excited to learn about another farm. So if you didn't see last week, we did a little bit farm in Franklin, Kentucky and the response that we got from their customers and from people who knew them in the area was amazing. It was so nice to see everyone supporting them and so many people excited to see them shared on our page. So we hope all of you new followers stay around and learn about more farms across the state of Kentucky and this week we are doing Rough Draft Farm in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. This is a really great farm that has a CSA, a farm store, and they actually go to the Lexington Farmers Market. So a lot of people in the Central Kentucky area probably know of them, have probably definitely tasted their produce before and know how great they are. If you want to learn more about them, we talked about them an hour ago at 11 and we shared their webpage that you can go and learn some more as well. They're really great. I love their social media. They share so much um, about their kids and all of them like running around on the farm and they share really great pictures. So definitely check them out. Today we are going to be making a creamy pasta that has some kale and some butternut squash in it and some Parmesan cheese. And I think it's so nice because without the cheese, the sauce is still so creamy and glossy. It looks restaurant style and it is perfect to keep you warm in all this weather because here we still have probably about five inches of snow built up and some gnarly icicles. So I'm staying in as much as I can and I'm happy to have this pasta with me to have for lunch. So check this out, it's gonna be really good. I'm excited, let's get into it. To get started, you are going to want to wash the squash. So I have my butternut here. I added a touch of dish soap and I just made sure to rinse it off, get all of the dirt off of it, and then dry it. When you put it onto your cutting board, we're going to use a carrot peeler or a paring knife to get the skin off. You just want to get the skin and a little bit of the white part of the flesh. You don't want to get any of the orange flesh. So once we get that done, we're going to cut the ends off and then cut halfway through. You're going to use a spoon to scoop out the seeds and the fleshy bits and then we are going to just cut these into cubes now you want these to all relatively be the same if you have any big cubes like i did you just cut those in half and if you have any small ones that's okay too you'll just want to keep an eye on those in the oven so that they don't get too mushy or burn once you get all of those cubed up you are going to add them to a parchment lined baking sheet you're going to give them a nice zhuzh of olive oil, a big pinch of salt and pepper. And then if you can find fresh sage leaves, we're going to add about four or five of those to the baking sheet. If you don't have fresh sage leaves, you can do dried or just omit this. We're going to add this to the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 minutes to where you can get your fork through easily in the pieces. In the meantime, we are just going to chop up the rest of our ingredients. So I have three cloves of garlic here, and I'm just going to mince these up. A few of mine had some of the um, green growths in them, so I just pulled those out. It is still okay to use your garlic if these have them, so just try and pull them out if you can. I am going to mince these up, and then I have two shallots. I'm going to cut the ends off, cut through them, and then pull the skin off. And then I just slice these up. You can do a mince if you'd like, or do a chop but I liked the different textures that I would get with this pasta if I did sliced. So I'll set these off to the side once I get both of those done. And then finally, I have three more fresh sage leaves that I'm going to just mince up and run my knife through, and I'll put that on the side as well. In a deep saucepan, we are going to heat a little bit of olive oil on medium-high heat. Once this starts to get a little bit warm, we're going to add in our shallots. You aren't looking for too much coloring, you just want these to wilt a little bit. So when mine started to wilt and show a little bit of browning, I added in my garlic and sage. I mix this around and let it cook for about a minute, and then you're going to want to add in your vegetable broth. I turned the heat up to high and let this come to a rolling boil. I then added in my pasta of choice and a little bit more vegetable stock to make sure that the pasta was fully immersed. You are going to let this cook for about 10 minutes, just follow the directions on the back of the package of pasta 
and also be willing to taste throughout to make sure you get the perfect al dente texture. I added in some crushed red pepper flakes for spice and then also some chopped kale about two minutes before the pasta was finished cooking just so it wilted and softened a little bit. In the meantime, I pulled the butternut squash out of the oven and taste tested. It's delicious. And once the pasta is finished, we are going to turn off the heat, add in some Parmesan cheese, and give it a mix so that everything melts, and then we are ready to plate. I added a little bit of my pasta and kale to my bowl, topped it with some butternut squash pieces, and then finally a sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. This is perfect to keep you warm during these wintry days, so I hope you all like this and give it a try. Be sure to check out Rough Draft Farmstead. They have great produce, and if you didn't see our post at 11 about them, go check it out now. And also, join our local food challenge. You can be entered to win $25 towards the CSA or farm store of your choice just for making dinner with your local produce. So check that out on our page, and we will see you all next week.